Hello, people of the internet. Hope everybody's doing great on this uh, here Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday? <laughs> Wednesday. False alarm, people. He did not travel forward in time. So welcome back to this delightful Wednesday, December the 21st, which makes this our 21st beer. Yeah. So we're doing pretty good. We're celebrating tonight. Um, we both just found out we have snow days tomorrow. So snow slash cold slash blizzard. Yeah. Kind of all of it. We're getting round two. Last week we got 16 inches. We'll probably get five to seven here tonight and then blizzard and wind chill advisories, warnings out for tomorrow morning. So mm -hmm. we're just going to snuggle in and clean the house. Michelle's in the Christmas spirit. <sighs> yeah. Don't stop believing. I'm still celebrating the uh, big Packer victory. I'm a little upset these are supposed to light up, but my hat is defective. Damn Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. better okay. Get our, better get our dollar <laughs> 25 back. Yeah, not a dollar anymore. Okay, so today is actually one when I first saw it that I've been looking forward to. It's called Scars Are Beautiful. Um, and it obviously is representing a breast cancer survivor. Um, it is a New England IPA from Streetside Brewery. And one thing, I'm going to read this. This is from the brewer. Her name is Jess. My scars represent beauty, change, and continued growth. I've had a double mastectomy twice, and it's been a journey and a path to self-love. I am so darn proud of how far I've come. Let's normalize scars. Let's celebrate body changes. This is near and dear to our hearts because I have also gone through the breast cancer journey, had a double mastectomy, a couple extra surgeries to go along with it. And it's, yeah, scars are beautiful. So almost five years out, getting close. Almost five years out. So well, I'll drink to that. We're past five years of diagnosing, yeah, so yeah. February will be mastectomy date, and that'll be a five-year anniversary. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's celebrate. Okay. Especially with the snow day. Woohoo! Don't want to over-celebrate, though. I like the color. Um, do we see what... What? The percentage was? Six percent. Six percent? Yeah, here, six percent. Oh, not too bad, then. No. Made in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland. Lovely little area, I've heard. Heard Ohio's really up and coming. A lot of good things happening there. Okay, it smells initial. It smells very hoppy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping it's smoother than it smells. Like a hop. Yep. Hop smelling candle or something. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Do you think Ooh. they have that? Ooh. If they don't, we should make them. Sell them on the internet. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. To almost five years. Almost five. Actually, mm -hmm. very smooth. I mean, just a good IPA. Kind of like, I mean, last night doesn't have much flavor to it, but it's just a smooth nope. drink in IPA. It's got a little like fizz, fizz on the back end. You get that? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know if that's like a carbonation thing or like a beer thing, but it's kind of like my mouth is fizzy. Maybe it's because we had a few Christmas cookies, but I don't think that's just, it. Well, I just had Tic Tacs, but if we're both feeling <laughs> Tic Tacs and beer. Just like toothpaste and orange juice. Mm, mm. Um, I don't know. It's I, not a bad beer. I don't know if it'll be a memorable beer. That's what some of the peoples have been talking about on their reviews. I mean, if you gave me this, I'd drink it for sure. I, I think what's more memorable about it for me is the story behind it. Yep. Um, scars yep. are beautiful. Love the can art. Love the the theory behind it. So. Do they say? Does this one have anything that goes? Um. Like money towards. I don't know what. Any it, research? Cancer. Yeah, I don't know. But anywho, so that's pretty cool. With street side, also cool that it's. She's one of the brewers. I feel like you don't see a lot of female brewers. No. I don't mean that like. Any nice. disrespect, but I feel like it's kind of a male dominated thing. So it's kind of neat to see see the females getting in on the action too. Lord knows they're probably smarter than us, so probably be pretty good brewers. I heard Line and Kugels is hiring a brewer. Did you see that? To work on should, their small batches? Should we apply? You'd be working with the, the head brewer. I think it'd be an awesome job. Go to the beer school. 
What's that other thing called? Like a Cicerone or whatever? Ooh, the though, like... Cicerone. I think Ryan should be a Cicerone. There's only like three in the state of Wisconsin or something. I mean, you just travel around and taste beer and tell them what's wrong with it? But you have and to get be able paid? To, like, yeah, but you have to be able to like taste everything. Ooh, there's notes of caramel in this one. Ooh. Yeah, like, hmm. It's you missing this. I can't just drink have, it. You just have to use big words. People will be like, that guy knows what he's talking about. Just have to be a good bs or like Ryan is. I can do that. Salesman right um, here. Okay, we're going to go to, what are you going to give it? I could be a salesman. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. It's good beer. Um, the hoppiness has really gone away as you've drank it. That first initial kick was very hoppy. But it's pretty smooth. A little fizzy. Give it a 4.0. Hmm. Good beer. Maybe, I, I don't think it's bad by any stretch, but maybe not memorable. On the, the scale of IPAs, I agree with a 4.0. On my, I mean, I would drink this, but mm -hmm. on my scale, I think you'd have one of these and I'd go back to my my other. So I'm going to go anywhere from a 3.75 to a 4. I mean, mm -hmm. just a good beer. Not really a pontoon beer? Maybe one? Maybe two. Maybe two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not a sit all day and drink. Nope. Well, so. Cheers to this one. Okay. Shall we open uh, the brewing project? Mm. I can't wait. Here we are, folks. Day 10. Classic little size here. Is it the 13 days of Christmas? I think so. Okay. On the 13th day of Christmas. My true love gave to me. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, out of depth, West Coast IPA. It actually worked really well together. <laughs> do, do, do. Like that little jingle. Maybe Matt will put that as his ringtone. This little West Coast IPA has Sycamore, Amarillo, and Centennial hops. Ooh. Hopefully that's good. I do like the song Amarillo Sky. It's one of my favorites. Can Matt would, on par again. Matt would know that. He's a big country fan. 7.1% by volume. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like this. That's like that uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. movie. He's the the diver guy. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. I think the old school school video gear. Mm -hmm. Gets yelled at a bunch in the movie. Can't remember the name of it though. Matt will freshen me up. You know what they say? Pour your beer first. It's just like when the air, when the masks come down on the airplane, you got to put yours on first. So you, then you can help others. If you don't pour your beer first, how can you help anybody else? So this is a little darker than the last one. Did we give them a look at the last one? I don't know. I mean, look at first the comparison. Beer. Yeah. West Coast to the New England. Interesting. A little darker. Gonna head down to the ballpark, maybe have myself an IPA. See the Red Sox. Mm. I like the smell of this. What is one. he catching here? Like a, a <laughs> two headed a googly eye fish or something? Out of the depth. Maybe uh -huh. it's like I have no idea. Like some sort of cartoon? Show the people. If, any, if anybody can what are we catching oh, here? Yeah, there you go. It's got like tentacly Feet, it's, legs. But it's like two-headed and... Oh, this looks like a pumpkin, but not... The sperm uh, shooting out of it? Well, I mean, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like this smell people, a lot better. PG here, people. Jesus, tell you what. What do you think of this oh, smell? Oh, hold on to me. Still distracted. <laughs> uh, it smells like beer. I'm going to be honest. I don't smell much on this one. The notes aren't connecting with me. My senses. Hmm. Michelle, while you're thinking, speaking of senses, mm, it's an interesting taste. Speaking of senses, if you had to lose one of your five Ooh. senses, what would you lose? Smell. Smell? I think I could go without smell. So would it change your taste, though? Because technically they kind of work together. Or could you still taste everything the same? 
I think you I think you only lose your smell. You said okay. one, okay. so I'd yeah, still yeah, be yeah. able to taste. Mm. I don't know. I would maybe go. I want to be able to taste things, but at the same time, it'd be like whatever. You just eat whatever, drink whatever. I feel like it'd be hard to go out and taste. Obviously, you want to be able to see and hear. I mean, touch. It was between touch, touch, and I mean, you just like run into everything. Then you just, <laughs> that, yeah, like, I don't know. Smash your toe, and you don't know it's broken. Oh no. I could never be one of those people that doesn't feel pain. But like, could you like how how would you like know you're holding this glass? On I think touch would be don't... like, oh, your hair is your arm is hairy. Yeah, but like, how do I know how much pressure? Yeah, and, yeah. you're getting too. I think no, but really, like, how much pressure just I need to hold this glass? It. Yeah, you just be like, hey, have this glass because <laughs> you don't know like the pressure to use on it. But that's like strength. That's not touch. Touch is like what, how you finesse. No, touch Ooh, is like keep doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, touch is folks, like we're gonna have to pause the show here. Like, oh, it's sandpapery, or oh. it's furry, or it's it's prickly. Like mm. that's touch. Not how hard you squeeze something. Yeah, but I feel like that's the yeah yeah no it, how hard i squeeze something depends on it if it's falling out of my hand or not yeah, but how do you know how to control that amount of strength if you can't touch if you can't feel that's that? more the connection between my you muscles and the touches i guys you gotta uh, um agree to disagree but i think touch is more of like the feeling you get so the sandpaper the grit the fuzzy the furry the feathery the, the prickly furries, the furries anyways somebody uh, uh let's hear yet yeah. chuggalos and jt and matt what sense would you forfeit i'm going with taste i'm unsure but that's what i'm gonna go with uh speaking of losing my taste so i'm not a, i'm not the biggest fan nope um I would drink the other IPA. I would have to go with the, uh, mm -hmm. was that the West Coast? Or no, the New England. The West Coast is a little more yeah. skunk. I don't know. Yeah, it's got, it's got a little skunky taste to it. It's got like a little bit of a sweet taste. Mm, see, I don't get sweet. Kind of at the end though, but not like a good, not like a little sweet, like the Dr. Pepper guy. But it's like, it's got a weird sweet taste to the to the back end of it. I'm looking at the wrong cam. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I would keep this in the depths. It's not a, it's not a throwaway. No, I could drink one, but, but it I definitely think... out of out of Brewing Project IPAs. I mean, I drink the Gunpowder, their base one. I mean, I'm just not gonna put it up there too high. I'm gonna go with 3.25. Actually, I was thinking the exact same thing. They've the Brewing Project has made better IPAs, and just from all the IPs IPAs we've tasted, they remember their their uh, West Coast one with the cow on it. That's a really good. Mm, yep, I really like that one. So, sorry, Brewing Project. Just gotta give you our thoughts. Don't yep. be upset with us. We'll we continue. Still love your yeah. beer. <laughs> continue to drink your beer. What did you get from uh, our brewery tonight? Oh, we stopped up to. Uh, Round Man Brewing, which if you've never been there, is in Spooner, Wisconsin. Awesome restaurant. Awesome they do, family that yeah. owns the restaurant. And they've really come a long way. They make some pretty good beer, but they do a ton of really good stuff in the community. And their food's like really rocking. Mm -hmm. like, the duck nachos. Try yeah. out the duck nachos. Like for an up north kind of smaller town, it's kind of a, a higher end restaurant and have some really neat like different types of foods. It's pretty good. I love Spooner, but you walk in and it's like, you don't feel like you're in Spooner anymore. Yeah. I mean, really, it's just they have done a great job with their, their restaurant. And they have just bought a a bar oh, yeah. um, north of town in Trigo um, that used to be Uncle Mike's, but they're going to turn it in kind of their house for their brewing, I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. and then do like a barbecue place yeah, as well. Yeah, like a smokehouse. So, that would be sweet. And that's where we used to play volleyball. and Beer, yeah. beer and smoking meats. It's pretty much the uh, best day ever. So was that an IPA though? Yeah, that was a Saison IPA. 
I think that's that's how I say it. A saison, saison session. Session, some people say. Who knows? But I mean, a saison we, IPA. If we take a little taste of it tonight, will it still be okay on Friday? Sure, yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we? Do you want to grab it? Grab it. You grab it. You're Rock, closer. paper, scissors. No, you're closer. Rock, paper, scissors for the people. Two out of three, or two out of three. It's in the Geneva Convention. Uh, what do you want to know? We had Christmas concerts today. Um, a lot of running around. Ryan took the day off so we could go to both of the kids' Christmas concerts at different times. Do you want to get two new? Uh, are we just going to... We also, in Spooner, got out of school early. Check so... out the can art. It's an industrial, wow. like Matt was talking the other day. Industrial type uh, brewery. Tap room, so it's pretty neat. I like these guys. They have to seal their caps or whatever. They literally use electrical tape. <laughs> Just cheap and easy. I mean. Um, so this brewery again, though I'm gonna say um, every the last couple of years on the or actually since COVID, um, on Thanksgiving they provide the community free Thanksgiving meals. And the first year of COVID when everybody was here and nobody could get together, we actually did that as a family and it was dynamite i would definitely do it again and just a great thing they served over 400 i think meals this last time so props to uh round man that's right uh a little info on this beer this was a christmas gift from one of my co-workers you can buy a growler with a tag bring it in for a, a free fill so uh, thanks tammy thank you tammy and chad and chad chad's a good guy chad yeah um, this beer is the Hop and Hold. Is it backwards to you guys too, or no? Or no, that's an up north thing. Oh, sorry, er. give me a bag. It's a 4.29% or 4.2% alcohol, so pretty low on the IPA Saison scale. I don't really know. Uh, but so the Hop and Hold, kind of like the name. They got some cool names. They're big in like the train stuff. That's big in Spooner. Where the spooner so, rails. But yeah, their beers have really come along. And, and they're not afraid to try different things. Like they've had an Oreo beer and... Yeah, they've tried some sours and stuff. And We're big uh, cranberry mushers up here. Is that how you say it? Cranberry harvesters. Mushers. Um, and so one year they got a whole bunch of cranberries from one of our families, um, who was also another great spooner family, and made a cranberry beer. And then named it after the the... Mm -hmm matriarch is that what yeah. you would call her mm -hmm. of the family taya we uh, also we're supposed to save this for a christmas party on saturday but we're gonna sample it with we you wanted guys to bring first, this to you just so we can so definitely it's got a little kick i sampled it at the bar before oh i bought it God. just so you know so unbiased opinion coming at you i've already tried it how many did you try at the bar just one i knew this was the one you did not. How many did you try? Yeah, honest truth. I tried one. I went, this is it. Mm. It's light. It's got a little bit of hop, a little bit of hang around on the hop. Hop, hop, hang around. This is very interesting. Three completely different IPAs, obviously, mm -hmm. with the names. and but... Oh, IPA night. Can we rank these? Think how many IPAs you would have drank mm -hmm. five years ago. Zero. It's definitely an acquired taste, or they've just gotten better. <laughs> I mean, it's like never, I never drank beer when we first started drinking. True. I I don't know if the other one is lingering in my mouth, or... No, this one definitely has, it's a little hoppier finish. It's still pretty smooth, but you definitely, you tasted it. But am I still on tasting that end. one? No, because this is how it was at the bar. Tap room bar. You know what I'm tasting in my mouth right now? Uh, the like, dankness. Uh, Is that what you're thinking? Is it dank? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I like it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's a uh, dynamite IPA. Saison IPA. Uh, not pontoon. Cr None of these tonight are pontoon crushable. No. If you had to rank these three. 
tonight? It's kind of interesting because they're all, they're all, like you said, they're all different IPAs. So, like, these, a West Coast, a New England, and a Saison, be kind of curious to hear, like, what are the actual, like, beer differences. Yep. I know they're all a pale, India pale ale or whatever. Or, yeah, I think they all are. This one has just a lingering taste. I don't know. Well. Yeah, I know. Well, I, for me. If you keep drinking, it can't linger then. For me, the um, Scars Are Beautiful is my favorite tonight. I'd agree with that. I can't decide out of these two. I thought this would be my second, the Round Man, but the aftertaste is getting me. And so uh, this, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to go the Brewing Project, then Round Man, to be mm -hmm. honest. I think so. I wouldn't disagree with that. I give this like a, uh, maybe my score's not going to reflect it, but I'd probably give this a... 3.25, so it's probably the same score I gave the other one. I think we went three, oh yeah, we did go 3.25, didn't we? But I would put the Brewing Project one a little bit ahead of this, so. I'd go three on this one, to be honest, just right in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's. But yeah, not bad, but. No. Again, Round Man, we love your beer. We love what you do for our community. It's one of their new, I think it's a newer one, from what I know. Uh, they do have a couple good IPAs. They got a good red, their red. Uh, oh. That one's a good A beer. red amber, I think. So, Well, peoples, uh, not any pontoon crushers today, but hopefully we'll bring this back a um, couple more days. We've been enjoying the ride, the journey. So until next time, tell your folks I says hi. Watch out for deer. Bye. And the blizzards. Oh, yeah. Snow day. See you tomorrow.